think this is the press release that is just coming from uh, AIMS. So I'm, I'm just going to read this out. Uh, it has come from AIMS. Uh, it is with profound grief that we inform about the sad demise of former Prime Minister of India, Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee, at 5.05 .05 p.m. on 16-8-2018. Sri Vajpayee was admitted in AIMS on 11.06-2018, was stable in the last nine weeks under the care of a team of AIMS doctors. Unfortunately, his condition deteriorated over the last 36 hours. He was put on life support systems. Despite the best of efforts, we have lost him today. We join the nation in deeply mourning this great loss. So it is an official press release, an official announcement now from the All India Institute of Medical Sciences that Atal Bihari Vajpayee, former Prime Minister of India, has, has passed away. Uh, Sunetra, Sunetra Chaudhary now joining us on that. Sunetra, so that, that is that official announcement from AIMS that, that we have been expecting for a while. That's right, Vikram. Uh, that press release coming in uh, from the top uh, uh, official spokesperson here of AIMS, which confirms that just after 5, uh, at 5.05 5 p.m., is when uh, he was declared uh, dead. Uh, as they're saying, they recounting over there that they had been struggling. They also say over here that his condition decreased over the last 36 hours and that he was put on life support system and despite the best efforts of the doctors here. So they've just been trying. Um, uh, doctors say that they had been trying a lot, but it looked earlier today that it, it was inevitable and that they were losing that battle, that he was losing the battle of his life. And just now this uh, statement coming in, what we also hear from the other officials is now the arrangement, now the focus shifts to how to transport him back home and then, uh, you know, they will be mourning period and they will be announcing all those modalities as well for the former prime minister's passing. Uh, we also know that some of the uh, BJP ministers are already at his residence at Krishna Menon Marg. Uh, Dharmendra Pradhan, uh, among others, are there and they are making arrangements over there for the kind of people, the number of people that they expect to come and see him to pay their last respects. So that is all being worked out right now at Ames, where he has been here since June. Uh, there has been, of course, the end of the journey over here at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences. Some of the people who were on their way to come and see him at the end of it, people like Mamata Banerjee, they haven't been able to make it as well. You also had other people like Yogi Adityanath, among others, wanting to come in to see him. They haven't been able to make it. But until the end, he had his family with him, his uh, beloved foster daughter, Namita Bhattacharya, and Ranjan Bhattacharya, uh, and their family. That's who he is survived by. Uh, and so he remained uh, completely surrounded by people that looked up to him right to the end. And in his death, he seems to have brought together uh, various political leaders from across the political spectrum, Vikram, because if you see the kind of visitors that he's had all day, they really were from a wide spectrum, whether it is uh, even warring people who are traditional rivals of the BJP, the Aam Aadmi Party, and people who really didn't really practice politics with him. Arvind Kejriwal and Manish Sisodia of the Aam Aadmi Party, which came into being much after uh, Atal Bihari Vajpayee had receded from that kind of public life. They were one of those people who were in here earlier as well, along with uh, Rahul Gandhi, Gulam Nabi Azad, opposition leaders, and as I said, the Bengal chief minister who served in his cabinet during NDA 1, but who now is one of the leading figures of the opposition movement coming in and saying, speaking warmly of him and saying that it was really an honor to serve in Vajpayee's cabinet. So in his death, Vikram, uh, we can see the binding past that he has as a former prime minister, as a leader who has served since the 50s. He's been in political life since the 50s. So really, it's quite, right. if we talk about his work and if you talk about his life, it's quite a spectrum there. This is a, a, a emotional uh, a series of tweets that has just come from Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi, where he says, "Atal ji, aaj hamare beech mein nahi rahe." Uh, later, he goes on to talk about, "Main nishabd hoon, shunya mein hoon." So, uh, obviously, that mourning uh, is going to extend uh, across the entire nation. It's not just BJP leaders who are who are mourning right now. 
uh, it is it's the entire nation which is which is uh, uh, going to be in a state of mourning uh, it's 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 the passing away of atal bihari vajpayee it's the passing away it's the ending of an entire era